What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a uh, more philosophical video about the game than a direct advice video. And this is about the difference between teams and tags. Now, if you check out real quick, what you'll see is that there are a lot of different ways that you can sort your roster. Obviously, you have affiliation tags like AIM as Guardian, Avenger. Then you have origin tags, or the tags where characters get their powers from, like Bio, Mystic. And then there's kind of role or job tags that represent what those characters do, like Blaster or Brawler, etc. You kind of know what I mean here. And one mistake I see a lot of newer players make, and a handful of veteran players make, is the idea that just because characters share a tag means that they will work as a team. A team is a series of characters that innately or organically, or even inorganically, work together. Organically meaning that the characters' kits and uh, do something that benefit each other. For example, uh, Mordo and Scarlet Witch work very well with the symbiotes because they all interact relatively well with debuffs. Uh, that's just one quick example. That's an uh, organic team. And then there's the inorganic teams like the Sinister Six characters that say when I'm near another member of the team or a very specific person, I do this. Now, obviously that happens a lot, but one of the examples and one of the confusions a lot of people see is they'll see a tag and they'll immediately believe, well, if this character is off the top of my head and inhuman, clearly they should work together. And using the Inhumans as an example, you can see that about five of them do work very well together. Uh, Karnak, Yo-Yo, Crystal, Black Bolt, and Quake do have some levels of synergy as beyond the just Inhuman tag. Obviously, Black Bolt uh, benefits Inhumans uh, right here. Inhuman allies gain resistance and max health. Obviously, if they have the Inhuman tag, they will work together, and that's very important. But then you see a character like Ms. Marvel. Uh, she has the Inhuman tag. She will clearly benefit from being around Black Bolt by having more health. But that's it. None of her other abilities interact with the other Inhuman characters, at least right now. She's not really a member of the team. As a matter of fact, she does almost nothing for the team other than be a body with extra health and maybe be able to give ability energy to them. She won't really assist that often, and even if she does, it's not great. It'll be off of a yo-yo where she's not one of the best characters to get an assist from. That's, that's kind of the core example uh, of what I'm trying to say. There are obviously characters that work together and de fully designed teams. Another example of a fully designed team would be, very simply, the Black Order. Uh, obviously Thanos won't show up when I see this, but these characters not only are designed to work with each other based on what their kits say, you know, Thanos or Ebony Maw get attacked, Call of City Encounters attacks, the Ebony Maw buff to the entire team. Pretty much all of them have a passive that does something amazing for Black Order and Thanos. This is a team that is clearly designed to work together. Uh, organic teams, uh, you'll see often, maybe you've heard of the BKT or the Best Free Team. It's an older team, it's still very popular among war defenses and for middle to just entering late game players to progress through U6. Team of Rocket, Star Lord, Thanos, Minerva, and Groot. Uh, that team doesn't actually have any synergy uh, in their tags, but how they work together is absolutely phenomenal. And even thinking of U7 recently, there were teams like Tech Wing, where they all worked together to accomplish a very specific task, which was winning fights in U7. If you think about things like U7 or things like Dark Dimension 3, you'll see that there's a lot of things that break apart the team. One thing that I see a lot, one question that comes up all the time when I do my team reviews, which many of you have probably seen already, is people ask me for a review of like, wave one avengers and there there can't be one i mean there can i can do it right now they're not a team don't use them the review is over they 
have all the ingredients of a team, right? Hulk, always angry. Well, not much. Rage, though. If any ally is Wave 1 Avenger, he gains counter. Clearly, he has an interaction with that team, uh, or anyone on that tag. But when you put them together in any combination, they aren't representing what they need to do. Iron Man so clearly is a power armor character. Even though he works very well with Captain America, everything Iron Man does is suited for the power armor team. So the fact that he has the Wave 1 Avengers tag doesn't mean he's on two teams. It means he's on one team and has a useless tag that actually doesn't matter. That might get reworked one day. As of right now, that just seemed like maybe a failed attempt at their end. Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk. Some of these characters just don't have a home. Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Captain America, you can find uses for them. Captain America happens to make Captain Marvel a little bit stronger. Uh, Black Widow is a relatively good hero controller character, as is Hawkeye. Hawkeye works very well with Ultron for like blitz and war fights if you really need a clear return rewind very quickly. But no one's putting Thor on a Wave 1 Avengers team when he works exactly the way he does with Asgardians. Maybe, maybe if whenever an enemy attacked an Asgardian or Wave 1 Avenger this happened, then you could see some value out of it. But that's just not how the characters work. Another example of a team that just doesn't exist is martial artists. Sorry, it takes a while to get there. Martial artists, sure, Iron Fist and Daredevil are part of a different team, but really, what are you going to put together? Most of the characters here are already hand. Psylocke's a martial artist, doesn't have much of an interaction with anybody else. Karnak's a martial artist, great. This is a tag, that's all it is. It, it, it doesn't bind them together, it doesn't even control the amount of gear, types of gear that they get. It's just an affiliation tag that doesn't matter. And something I want everyone to think about as they're powering through, you know, leveling up characters and building out teams, is to understand that while there's some interactions that you can use, you know, when you just get a character or as you're progressing a little bit, or maybe you're trying to build a couple of extra Blitz teams, you're really gonna have a problem if you look at a new character like, beast and you say well he's an x-men he's on the x-men team right like there's no question beast is an x-men he's on the x-men team well okay and that's fair so let's look at all the x-men in the game who's not on the team and why and where now i have an x-men review coming obviously and we'll talk more about that but ultimately who's the x-men team most people will argue that it's immediately just Colossus, Phoenix, and who else you have. If you have Cyclops, do you not have an X-Men team? I don't think so. I think pretty much once you have Colossus and Phoenix, any X-Men are just as good. Uh, I think Beast has his own little value for the X-Men team, but it depends on what you're trying to do. So the entire idea of this philosophy is when you look at a new character or an old character, whether you're a new player or somebody who's been playing the game for two years and just seeing a brand new kit like Beast coming out and you go, this is the guy that team was missing. Ask yourself for what? Because while Beast's kit does look interesting, is he a part of the team? Is he a, is the team a Swiss army knife? Uh, like maybe symbiotes where you can use them with spider-verse characters or with aim characters you can kind of get around a lot of different things are they like the marauders where you can uh, add a fifth character are they like the mercenaries where you only really need three what is the point of the team as long as you can separate the idea of a team being five characters that work together for one reason or another and a tag which is how characters are grouped in this game, whether it be for gear or for a restriction of a node, whatever it may be, you really need to grasp the just the simple concept that just because it says aim is a team 
doesn't necessarily mean that they're all interchangeable parts. Doesn't necessarily mean that a character like Infector or Monstrosity is the best possible option. It's more of a, these guys will have some level of, of function together, but that's not where their home is. That's kind of the entire point of the philosophy. So hopefully this video helped some people uh, kind of determine not just as new characters keep coming out, you know, what this character has to come out with the brand new tag that just hit called the Young Avengers, which some characters have been slightly modified. And you're not going to really worry about, well, I have Squirrel Girl now, so now I'm going to break apart, you know, Miles from the Spider-Verse team so I can put him on this Young Avenger team. Why? If you have the characters and they're already doing something great, you don't have to break what you're doing apart because you already have a team. Like the Marauders are a team, but when Sabretooth and Mystique got that Marauder tag, you had to make a choice. Are they on the Brotherhood or are they on the Marauders? And you didn't just immediately pull them off the Brotherhood to make this brand new team that exists because the Brotherhood was already a proven team that was working, if you kind of catch my meaning. So when a new team comes out, Pay really close attention to whether or not it's actually a team that works together for a purpose for you, or they just share a tag. That's kind of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Uh, that's a couple more things. We're going to talk a little bit more about teams going forward, but that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.